What's up guys, my name is Super Chill. Today I'm going to show you how to cut out an object out of an image and how to add a shadow to it, basically drop a shadow. Alright, here we go. Alright guys, we're here with GIMP. Uh, there's a link in the description where you can download it for free. Now first thing I'm going to show you is how to cut out an object out of an image. Alright, so you go to file, choose the file that you want to, you know, edit. I'm going to choose this picture of mine. Alright, there you have it. Next thing you want to do is uh, go to Layer, Transparency, and add Alpha Channel. Alright, the Alpha Channel is, uh, that's basically when you save it, when you basically save the file. That's the PNG format. That's what the transparency is here for. Alright, next thing you want to do is go over here to Free Select Tool. You click on it, and you start cutting out the object you want to edit. So... I'm just gonna cut out the entire body, you know. Alright, there we go, there we start. I usually, this is much easier for me, just to go with clicks. Alright guys, so we're basically finished, now what you need to do is, uh, when you're done cutting out, just connect it to where you begin with. You clicked it and it's basically ready. Alright, now next thing you want to do is go to select, invert. All right, and there's the last step to cut it out. Hold Control and press X. That's basically it. All right, we got it. This is how you cut out. There is the image. You can see it. <laughs> it's kind of laggy when you move it around. But yeah, that's basically it, how you cut out an object. It's pretty easy. You can do it really quickly. You can really get used to it. All right, guys, so now I'm going to show you how to add a shadow to it, the drop shadow. So, first thing you want to do is go to Filters, Light and Shadow, you can see it, and then you go to Drop Shadow. Alright, there you have it. You can have your shadow on the left or your shadow on the, on the right, it doesn't really matter. It's up for you to decide how you want it on your thumbnail or whatever you want to use it for. So, I'm gonna, I usually do it from the right because I always put my, my cutout object on the left side of the thumbnail. This is the blur radius. This is the radius actually of the color you can see. So I'm going to put it like like this maybe. You can add whatever color you want. I usually add the white color. Definitely looks good on thumbnails. And the opacity is very important. And as you can see, that's how you add it. You can go a lot. You, you, <laughs> yeah, it's preferable to have an opacity over here. That's how it's basically done. All right, once you're done over here, you press OK. And there you have it. This is it. Cut out object with a drop shadow. So next thing you want to do, go to File so you can save it. Oops. Go to File, Save As. Nah, that's the wrong one. So you basically go to File, Export As. And you choose the file where you want to just, I'm just going to export it over here. Uh, first of all, you have to click on the file here so you can choose what format you want to put it in. And you want a PNG, that's what it's all about. Alright, this is it. You click on PNG, export. Don't touch any of these settings. Basically, just click export. You should be good. Before I end this video, I want to show you how I do my thumbnails, what app I use. So, this is it Canva. It's free and it's very easy cr to create your thumbnails with. All right, now we go over here basically to YouTube thumbnail. Go to uploads and they are the images. This is the one that we edited out. Hold up. Let's say I want to put it on this picture over here. I'm going to show you how it looks like. I want to also show you how the cutout looks like on thumbnails specifically. All right, this is it. It looks really good. The drop shadow is actually a really cool tool. Definitely looks good on the thumbnails, especially if the background is a little bit darker. It looks perfect. And this is it. Then we just put it like this. I don't know what else. Maybe I can put some... I usually play a lot of GTA, so I'm just going to put my Grand Theft Auto thing over here. Alright, that's basically it. Very easy way to make a thumbnail and to add the drop shadow to and to just use the cutout object. 
download it, and you're good to go. Alright guys, I just want to say uh, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope this have uh, helped you out. If you have any questions, make sure to ask me in the comments. I'll make sure to answer and to help you out by some way. And yeah guys, thanks so much for watching. This is going to be everything for me guys. Bye bye, I'll see you in the next one.